Let's go! I never drink coffee. I never drink coffee, but when I do, it's to get through a YouTube video. What is going on ladies and gents? Justin Wall here, founder of Beyond Six Figures. And one of the many, many things that I'm asked every single day is Justin, am I at the point where I'm ready to start investing? specifically into crypto. And in this specific video, I'm gonna walk you through what people aren't talking about when it comes to actually getting started to invest in cryptocurrency. I personally hold a seven plus figure crypto portfolio and I've made six figures plus on various days in the cryptocurrency marketplace. The concepts that I bring up in this video are meant to actually help you move forward and understand the true fundamentals of actual cryptocurrency. This video is not meant to help you make a million dollars or to give you that next big pick. It's going to be to help you and save you from losing money in cryptocurrency so you actually go about it safely and with a level head. Alongside that, if you stay until the end, I have a really, really cool concept to walk you through as well that will help you get rocking and rolling the right way in cryptocurrency without losing your tail end or your shorts. First and foremost, investing can be risky. And you have to understand that when you're moving forward and you don't have a solidified source of income, you're doubling the risk for yourself and your family. You want to make sure that if you ever venture into anything like this, cryptocurrency, stocks, etc., and investing in anything, to be quite frank, you want to have concrete income. With that being said, it minimizes your risk and allows you to obviously move forward and obviously invest into things without having a back against the wall mentality. Keep that in mind. You need to have some sort of actual income that is consistent because if you do not have one, getting into crypto or stocks or anything like that will be double as risky like I mentioned and ultimately will lead you to have much worse trades because you're acting from a place of scaredness and not really giving yourself the full opportunity to explore what could happen if you weren't that nervous or scared because you're over leveraging yourself. Let's say you're sitting down at the Thanksgiving dinner table and your second cousin who's always been one-upping you ever since you guys were kids comes up to you and shows you his six million dollar crypto portfolio which includes a digital salmon and that's giving you massive amounts of FOMO or fear of missing out which leads you to want to go ahead and buy into the market eventually since you have much, not much experience here nor do you have income in this example you're gonna go ahead and be scared to go ahead and hold the money there when it sells off and you lose value. Therefore, you'll sell for a loss because you had no actual foundation, you had no income, and you had no real safety net really making yourself feel better because that was all of your money just inside your account and your bank account. This is why it's so important to make sure that you're actually having a proper and sufficient income that is consistent, allowing you to make better trades, learn properly, and not act emotionally in a marketplace like cryptocurrency because you're having your back against the wall. Keep that in mind. How are you supposed to learn if you're having the back against the wall mentality the entire time as you invest? Or you're selling every time your portfolio goes a little bit lower? You have to be able to obviously understand what is going on in the marketplace and that comes with time in the marketplace. And time in the marketplace comes with comfortability of having a sustainable income source. If you have no sustainable income source, you will not be comfortable in the market. You will not hold your positions. You will not make the most of what you can actually make happen without having an income. If you do have an income, you'll stay in the market longer. You'll be able to go ahead and ride out trends and potentially make more money. And thirdly, you'll actually understand what's going on because you, my friend, are spending more time in the marketplace. And without actually spending time in the marketplace or being prepared to lose, okay, because you have a already disposable income stream coming in, then you'll be able to go ahead and really put yourself in a winning position. Starting to invest or do cryptocurrency with no stable income is setting yourself up for potential risk. Keep that in mind. Many people have made the most out of it and have done very, very well, but I want to make sure that you take a second thought and to make sure you're actually getting into these markets safely, properly, and intelligently to make sure that you lose as little as possible and you make as much as you can. Time in the market is more important than money in the market because you'll actually understand what's going on and develop more of an education for yourself from scratch. Because I know a lot of us watching right now are not very experienced in cryptocurrency and you're self-taught, right? Keep that in mind. So it's always great to have less stress and less risk by having that consistent income coming in every single day, week, or month that allows you to invest properly, and allows you to lose and learn, and allows you to actually not have a back against the wall mentality. One of the major things that I wanna bring up here is actually learning business, sales, and marketing skills before you ever really dive deep into any business or any market or anything for that matter. And the reason is, is because I personally believe marketing and sales skills are some of the most important things alongside business skills that you can have in your lifetime enabling you to make better deals, 
have better relationships, get better things for yourself in negotiations and allow yourself to actually see the world for what it is and how it works. Going into a marketplace that's involved with money and business is not going to have much you know, appreciation of you if you don't actually understand the fundamentals of these things as well. So with that being said, I would say you definitely want to have business, sales, and really the principles of marketing understood before you ever jump into anything full on. Because like I said, I think those three things are some of the most expensive and high perceived value things to learn in the world. And quite frankly, I would pay, and I have paid six figures plus to go ahead and have some incredible, incredible insights brought into my life stemming from marketing, sales, and business as well. So just a piece of advice, if you have these actual skills, you'll be able to navigate the community of cryptocurrency or investing, whatever you're looking at, much better because you're able to actually see and understand what the numbers mean and actually move forward in a proper manner with much more intellect than you would have without having any sales, marketing, or business skills whatsoever. Since we're not gambling here in cryptocurrency, it's very important to make sure that we're looking into these companies and are understanding the fundamentals and the concepts that they bring to the table. With that being said, if you have no sales, marketing, or business skills, how are you supposed to read these charts? How are you supposed to understand what liquidity means? How are you supposed to understand what the market cap is? All of these basic terms are basic, but may sound advanced if you don't have a background of the slightest in business, etc. Which is why it's always important to make sure that you do have a proper and fundamental background in marketing, sales, and business before ever jumping into something as volatile and really important and serious as crypto. Now, does that mean if you don't have a massive business or huge income that you can't get into cryptocurrency? No, it doesn't mean that. But what I'm gonna say here is I want you to be very, very cautious and I want you to be very, very intelligent with the moves you make. So here's some examples of what you can do. Instead of just buying the top with massive ape positions and aping in, so, so to speak, what you can go ahead and do is dollar cost average in with low amounts of money. Okay, for example, you shouldn't be having any more than 10 to 20% of your net worth in cryptocurrency. And that's typically what people would say before this huge crash. So who knows what happens moving forward. Now's the time to start buying a little bit, but not expect return. Okay, if you're buying when the market's down, you should understand that the actual money that you put in could still go lower. The ideology is you're de-risking your, yourself because you're able to go ahead and buy at a lower point in speculation that the price will go higher. So for those of you who are looking to get in but don't have a massive income source right now, definitely dollar cost average in low, okay, with low amounts. What that means is on days where you're 20, 30% down across the market, those are safer days to go ahead and invest, okay? I would not recommend doing anything when the market is massively green and you're very new to this investing space. Keep that in mind. All of this is not financial advice. This is just based off of my experiences and what I've done in the past as well. Keep that in mind. One of the major things I'd also say as you guys move forward is to make sure that you're keeping an eye on your investments as well. Play it as a long-term investment if it's a long-term investment. Play it as a short-term investment if it's a short-term investment. Make sure that you have a plan to get in when you're buying in, making sure that you're buying in on large dip days, not high days, and making sure that you actually have a plan to sell. That's the missing piece that so many people forget about. They don't know when they want to sell. They know when they want to get in, they're happy as hell when their money's up, but they don't sell and they lose it all. Make sure you have a plan to get in, you have a plan to trim, you have a plan to sell. Okay, these are all very basic things that I'm sure you could get tons of information on on YouTube, etc. I'm not gonna go super in depth on the actual technical analysis on all of these things as well today, but I wanna make sure you guys have the proper concepts as well so you're able to go ahead and hit the market proper when you're ready and have a proper income source to make sure you actually do the best you can. So ladies and gents, after you went through today's video, you probably have a really good understanding as to my personal concepts and beliefs when it comes to investing into cryptocurrency or anything for that matter. And keep in mind, I'm just some guy on YouTube. You probably should not listen to anything I say. You also should not smash the like button. You also should not subscribe. And I will definitely not see you on the next one.